itself. Number 5. The Philadelphia Experiment Many advancements of technology took place during World War II. The atom bomb was able to level entire cities. What other kind of technology could Albert Einstein and other great scientists have tested during this era? Could we have possibly had teleportation and invisibility capabilities? In July 1943, powerful electromagnetic fields are engaged around the USS Eldridge in a shipyard in Philadelphia. Reports say a green electric fiery fog covers the ship and it reportedly disappears. A strange side effect happens that they weren't expecting as well. Human molecules were scrambled with the metal and a large majority of their limbs had been buried into the steel. The ship teleports to a naval base 300 miles away in Norfolk, Virginia. The boat turns out okay, but the crew, not so much. Other sailors were completely missing. Some claim to witness soldiers who would periodically turn invisible during a fight. Just an urban legend, or possibly a government cover-up. Number 4, The Mysterious Ark. On August 6, 1945, Americans dropped the first atomic bomb on Hiroshima, completely leveling the city in the process. And not long after, was Nagasaki. So how in the world did this ark survive an atomic blast? The object in this photo is known as a tori, and is commonly found at the entrance of a Shinto shrine, and is normally made of wood or stone. The entire city of Nagasaki was reduced to rubble, and the Japanese surrendered not long after. Some sources claim the ark was only one kilometer away from the epicenter of the blast. Arches are known to be sturdy, but what do you think happened here? Number 3. Operation Mincemeat. One of the biggest mysteries of World War II happened during Operation Mincemeat. This was an Allied plan to dress up a dead soldier as a British officer who carried fake invasion plans in order to deceive the Nazis. Knowing the fake documents would eventually end up in Nazi hands, the Allies said they were going to invade Greece next in order to draw enemies away from their true target, Sicily. But who exactly did they use as a dead body? Most people say it was just a homeless Welsh man who died after drinking rat poison. But many firmly believe that this wasn't the case, and people behind the operation wanted to look as realistic as possible. They they needed the body to look like it crashed at sea. Some claim the body was used of a dead sailor named John Melville, but it still remains a mystery of which body they actually used. Number 2. The Nazi Angel of Death A Nazi doctor by the name of Josef Mengele conducted human experiments at Auschwitz and had the sole mission of uncovering genetic mutations found in twins. He wanted to use these discoveries to expand the Aryan race birth rate in Germany and maybe elsewhere. He felt that finding a way a mother could produce more twins would be key. After countless cruel experiments, Josef fled to South America when the Red Army was making their way to invade Germany. Historians claim Josef used what he learned from researching twins when he settled in a small town in Brazil, which soon became highly populated with twins and blonde hair, blue eyes children as well. He became known as a town medic and would especially help pregnant women. This would give him the nickname Angel of Death when they uncovered he was a Nazi war criminal. Many still believe he carried out his genetic experimentation on the city of Candido Godoy, as many one in five births in the city resulted in twins. Skeptics claim it was just something in the water. What do you believe? And now, the number one, the first, be sure to subscribe for new videos every day. Nazi Temple of Doom. This sounds like somewhere you might want to avoid. The Nazi Temple of Doom was Heinrich Himmler's personal fortress, and many bizarre rituals took place here that still remain a mystery. Located in the northwest part of Germany, it was also known as the Wilsberg Castle, and legend has it, accused witches were tortured and executed within its walls during the 17th century. Himmler was also obsessed with the supernatural realm, possessing rare artifacts associated with the Celtic culture. A German jeweler was instructed to create an elaborate cauldron with Celtic carvings made of 22 pounds of pure gold, specifically for this castle. This was found at the bottom of the lake on the opposite side of Germany, so allies couldn't plunder it. He also built his own round table and attempted to recreate the legendary scene of King Arthur. Cult-like ceremonies were believed to have taken place here, as well as discussing battle plans, SS weddings, and spiritually preparing SS officers for battle ahead. The details